Everyone has a dream. But what would you do to get it? Some seek fame and fortune. But the price of stardom is high. You have to fly higher. But the higher you rise to glory, the greater you fall from it. In the end, all secrets come to light, even in death. There you have it, the intro for Danse Macabre 3, or Danse Macabre 3 deadly deception because you know Apex just like I like Apex games but I almost start feeling now would you please stop producing games so that we can all like breathe in 2015 and not have like Apex all up in our faces um on the other hand, I think some of the games that they are releasing now, they were sort of scheduled for- I saw some some of them being scheduled for last year, but yeah, I guess they wanted them all 2015 instead. So, uh, I'm just like, are they gonna release one game every, like, second week all year? That's gonna be crazy. But, uh, yeah. All the Apex games! Whee! What was that? Oh, more Final Cut. Okay. Um, so played off the record. Fearful Tales. That's a series they should continue with. That one. That. That. That one. Uh, Dos Macabre. That's the series we're playing right now. Uh, Sea of Lice I've played. That series. Marathon Voyage series. Dead Reckoning series. Some Hidden Expedition. They're, they're now doing- Apex now doing Dark Parables, they're now doing the Phantasmat, uh, we played Miss of the World, and yeah, you know, all the stuffs. There are some extras, because it's a collector's edition, <gasps> Oh, now I'm just wondering a thing here. Voice volume test. Is this Jonathan or not? Voice volume test. Voice volume test. I'm getting confused. I- I recognize the voice, I want to say it's Jonathan, but I'm not sure. I don't really know about the music. Maybe it's a little low. Anyways. Voice volume test. We'll uh, we'll pretend that these audio levels are good and, you know, play with that. Um. Ta-da! Otherwise, I want everything. Madam White, I have a message for you. The Ashworth family has personally requested your services. Their daughter Marion has been murdered while attending the prestigious Belfort Academy of Dance. You want to speak to the headmistress, Madam Compton, as soon as you arrive. Here is a photo of the victim and the school's address. All right, that was pretty efficient. Ooh, it's one of oh, it's one of these half inventory bars. I like those. The icon will turn into a speech bubble when it is positioned over a character you can talk to. Okay. There seems to be a lot of this sort of pink purplish, which makes me wonder why there's one purple and then there's a turquoise and then there's some other like blue color and then there's turquoise again and blue and purple and why are there so many colors in this color scheme? 
It feels to me a little. It feels a little confused. Like it doesn't. The color scheme doesn't really know what color it wants to be, so it's kind of all over the place. Um, apparently we're collecting masks. Like that one. I cannot click. Uh, achievements. Uh, no hints. Find objects. <laughs> what kind of dress is that? Uh, match three. Mini games. Mini games. Map. Watch credits. Collectibles. Oh, morphing objects. Souvenirs. Okay, cool. So it's be standard Apex. You must be the private investigator the Ashworths hired. If it was up to me, you wouldn't be here. But the Ashworths have friends in high places. Um, thank you, I guess? I mean, look at you. You don't even have proper equipment. Here, use these disposable gloves. I don't want you tampering with any evidence. Understand? Yep. Well, someone's clearly no fan of private investigators. And uh, you, you have a... Um, yeah, and other icons. If you're stuck, press the end button. No. Uh, the gears indicate you can do stuff. Uh, sparkles are hidden objects puzzles. Select items that match the category below and some hops items displayed in red must be assembled before you can collect them. Let's look for signs of a struggle that could prove she had an attacker. You can do match three with hats and bows. Nope. Now let's see if she has personal belongings that could be clues. Considering how the victim fell, we can reasonably assume this watch marks the time of death, approximately 2.16 am. Gemstones are just glass, why would a rich girl wear such a cheap trinket? Alright, next I should double check for any other details I could have missed. Tattoo, at least a year old, judging by the lack of scar tissue. Traces of foundation indicate she covered it up often. This mole was drawn on with an eyebrow pen pencil. Interesting. Judging by her roots, she dyed her hair several weeks ago. She's a natural blonde. This is an old scar, probably from childhood, not related to this in incident, but worth noting. One hop without any hints. Victim's locket. My condolences, Mr. and Mrs. Ashworth. I know this must be hard for you. But I need you to identify the body. Outrageous! You think this is a joke? That's not my daughter. I've never seen her before in my life. Mr. Ashworth, please calm down. You're still in a state of shock and... I should think we know our own daughter. That's not her. Madam White, here. This is Marion. Don't listen to these incompetent bunglers. Marion is alive. She must be. Please, bring her home. Interesting development after only 10 minutes. Of course they're upset. Their daughter is still missing. How strange. Perhaps the headmistress can shed some light on this victim's true identity. Uh, case files. Uh, objectives. Uh, interview Belfort Hall's headmistress. Alright, so we have... I played for five minutes, actually. Uh, who is the victim and where is the real Marion? Na name unknown, occupant, occupation student, 18 to 25 of age, connection to case victim. Marion Ashworth, student, age 20, connection to case missing. Emily Ashworth, occupation unknown. Emily Ashworth is convinced her daughter is still alive. How close was their relationship? Age 45. Mother of the Missing Girl. Exhibit A. Alright. Collect all the masks. Thank you. 
And now I am allowed to move. Yeah, I found a plus item. Examine plus items closely and combine them with other inventory items. A little rested to the ends, but sturdy. Right. She likely died instantly as her head struck the stair. Judging by the position outline, she fell backwards from the top of the stairs. There's something sandwiched under that tile. You'll just get in my way. Ooh, doors. Use your map to travel quickly between locate. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. It's terrible. Simply terrible. In all my years here, nothing like this has ever happened. I was just on my morning stroll when I saw poor Marion lying there. The police spoke to my students, but no one saw anything. I sent them on a field trip until the police finish. They've seen too much already. This is Marion Ashworth? Oh my, I can't believe this. I assure you, madam, I know all my students. And this young woman has never attended Belfort Academy. This is getting more complicated by the minute. The young woman who died is the only Marion I know. I I'd let you search her dorm room, but her door is locked from the inside. The police don't believe she was there last night. The door's locked from the inside? That could be a problem. Nah, not for long. Okay, seriously, I want to be out here. I didn't mean to, like, continue. I meant to just get the tutorial out of my face. I see the school janitor left behind his toolbox. I'll apparently take that. Ta-da! We now have a butterfly net. We need a treble clef. Now we can go to the common room. She seems genuinely distraught, but I won't cross her off my suspect list just yet. No, I think that's a good idea. Let's see here. Madam Compton, headmistress, 63, new victim personally. To get into her room. This must be the victim's post box. It could contain something important. What is that? There's a rubber band. And some yarn. It's latched from the other side, but if I had something thin, I could flip it open. Let's see if we can find anything in here, then. All the sparkles. The, the indicator below shows when a morphing item is present in a HOP, and it will glow when the item is picked up. Alright, so... We could try. I'm not gonna find it, though. Um, but I could try... That morph? I'm not sure. What do I do with this? Number seven. Oh, here we go. Oh, it did morph, ha! Huh? Now it's a spoon! Yeah! Oh, there are only ten, okay. Um... We need a pocket knife... And a pocket watch... Padlock, red bow... Ring... Quill, pipe, and shoe. What sort of pipe are we looking for? Necklace, clock, hand, Buddha head. One clock hand right there. Let's see here. Pocket knife, pocket watch, and pipe. Pocket knife, pocket watch, and pipe. Okay, so pocket knife. Pocket knife. I don't know if that's a pocket knife. No, it's not. Uh, right. 
Where is the pocket knife? Apparently, I do not know what a pocket knife looks like. Uh, oh, there it is. What was that? The fabric buttons. Oh, I need four fabric buttons, okay. There's another one. Ooh, a bow. I'll just take the pencil, apparently. Uh, perhaps the school isn't as fancy as it seems. I'll have to find the missing drawer pull. Okay, map. Swift feet, traveled once. You also took the body to the morgue. Thank goodness I took a moment to examine it straight away. Ooh. Uh, I would like that. Thank you. Let's see here. We get a shovel and a wrench. Where do we use that then? Outside again. Um, here we go. Also, treble clef we need. Aha! Uh -huh. Alright. Put it over here. Press the question mark button to view the instructions. You may automatically solve the minigame once the skip button charges. Okay. Press the reset button to restart the minigame from the beginning. I didn't even click that, but sure. Aha! Uh -huh. Um, it's all the minigame in under 30 seconds. And, without skipping. A brass knob. Oh, and we found another collection of colored discs. Alright. Aha! Butter knife. There you When the door's open, it's like, it doesn't go all the way to the top. It's a little weird there. Alright. Oh, footprints. The window's open. That's how Marion left her room. Where was she going in the middle of the night? First of all... There we go. Okay, now we can look around. 2074... The lock, lock looks fairly common. I wonder if Madame Compton has a spare key. Oh, she has a dolly in there. Or in here. Uh huh. Some of the buttons have popped off. Okay. We'll have fun with that puzzle later. She left in such a hurry, she didn't even bother to shut the window behind her. Could she be planning to return? Could be. These letters I'm finding are all from Marion's mother, but the fake Marion opened them and kept them. Interesting. Sweetheart, are your fingers broken? You've been at Belford Hall almost six months, and we've yet to hear from you. Have you been getting my letters? Your father and I are so proud of your excellent report cards, but please let us hear from you directly. I love you and miss you, Mother. XXOX. And a tuning fork. Exhibit B. Uh, right. Oh no, 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 we can't do that right now. I could use to use I could use this to make a weapon if I had something stretchy. I do have something stretchy. Now I just need ammunition. Uh, I don't think I have am ammunition though. Uh, common room. Um. Oh, here we go. 
Oh, it only goes one way. Aw. 7-4. <sighs> that was all there was there, a fabric button. Um, we should stop, but I, I, I actually want to do this puzzle, so. Um... I did that wrong. There we go. Um, hmm. Ta da! Those are fun puzzles. It's been two weeks. Give me the money you owe me or else. Could this be from the killer? I should show this to Madame Compton straight away. Threatening letter. Hidden inside a chair. Ah, uh, sure, we'll give it a threatening letter. Threats? Oh no. She never mentioned this to me. I don't recognize the handwriting either. Please excuse me. This whole situation is just so overwhelming. Oh, before I forget, the police found this key in her pocket. It's for the drawer in her room. All of the students here have one. All right, awesome. Thank you very much. Dear. Ah, uh, I guess we'll check her drawer. Too. Sounds like this fake Marion comes from a very different family background. Bilford Hall Academy is everything I dreamt it would be. I'm learning so much, but there's a problem. I can't afford this luxurious lifestyle. My friends are starting to ask questions. My meager savings won't last much longer. What can I do? What if they figure out my secret? I need money now. She tore out the page, but I know a way to reveal what she wrote. Oh. Will, please just give me a little more time to get the money just until Sunday. Please, please don't tell Madame Compton. I'll ask Madame Compton if she knows anyone at the school named Will. Ah, uh, we'll give it to her. <gasps> I cannot believe Mr. Moore would do such a thing. He can be a bit of a grump, but he's a kind man and a fine janitor. He's probably on the grounds, or in the groundskeeper's cabin. It's just out this way. I must speak with the police now, but please, feel free to look around. Oh, I will, whether you like it or not. Grumpy or not, Mr. Moore is my first suspect. Ooh, there's a door there. Hall grounds. Will Moore, janitor 61, suspect. When she didn't repay his loan, he threatened to reveal her secret to Madame Compton. All right, and with that, we're gonna take a break. If we can find the menu, there we go. So this is Dance Macabre 3, Deadly Deception. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see y'all later.